All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna name my parameters. So, um, R5, I'll set four, that's gonna be our array. Five, so length, Atari. Okay, so I don't have to count every time, I can just look at the table. Now, tear down, build a tear down right there. Great, how many local variables? Well, I see two of them, one, two. So, uh, first spot, the default spot is going to be here. I'll make that I. But I need one more spot, so how do I do that? I'm going to change this minus 5 to minus 6. That'll give me one more spot right there. I'm going to name that J. All right. So, all right, now we do the line by line. So I need to just, I need to store 0 into I. So first I'm going to get 0. Now I'm going to store that into I. Where is I? R5 offset 0. That line's cones done. You get one sword in J. So. Alright. I have zero. Now add one to that. Then store that into J. Which we said it was R5 negative one. That line of cones done. While. So this is how I do my whiles. Another while label. And while and your branch while. So do it to structure first and then start implementing. You need to get i in one register length minus one, so. We'll load i, one register. And notice I'm not afraid of overriding my registers. Like every new, every line of code is a clean slate with my registers and I can I can start using from R0. So like, I, I basically, every line of code, I have all five registers to work with because all the important stuff is stored in memory instead of a register, okay? So anyway, we're loading this. We're loading i from mem from memory, and then we want to load length from memory to another register, which is this five. We we'll subtract that by one. Okay. Then we want to. We're gonna get this entire thing to the left hand side, so we're gonna knot it and choose complement basically. Okay. Now we want to add i plus i minus length minus one basically. Now we want to branch when? We want to branch on the opposite of this, which is, I think, it's going to be ZP to end while. And this is not our body or while loop, actually. This is just our condition checking. So now the body starts. And we'll just go line by line into the body. And it's another while loop. What do you know? Well, anyway, we just do the same process. While 2 and while 2 branch while to and then check our condition so load number of clean slate use all our registers have r5 minus one um, we have length on another register which is five negate length you want to get to the left hand side the comparison is zero add r1 r1 add r0 r0 r1 now we have j minus length and that's our condition code we want to branch when on the opposite of this, so I think it's still ZP. And while two. Now we're in the body of our inner while loop. Let's just keep going line by line. And then this is our if statement. Okay, so I guess our goal here is to get ray i plus ray j minus target. So I'll just this is our array i. We'll load array first, r5 plus 4. We're going to load i into another register, add them together. And then we'll load it. Now we have the address of array i, and to load it, we're going to load it into itself. Now we have the value of ai. Okay, looks good. Let's get array j now. We can't use R0 because it's relevant within the line, right? It's, it's one of the intermediate calculations is array i, so we can't overwrite R0. Use R1, so for array j, so I'm going to load array again. Anytime I need it, I'm going to load it back. I'm not going to try to keep track of which register I had it in last time. All right, okay, R4, and then I need to get j, so I'll be our R2, R5 minus 1, add them together. And then load it into itself. Now we have this is here we get the address, here we get the value. 
So now we have array i and array j. Let's add them together. R1. Okay, great. So now all we need now is to get a negative target in another register. So we'll load target R5 or R1, R5, R6. I'm just getting target into R1. I'm going to negate that. And I'll add a 1, 2 common style. And then I will add R0, R1. It's pretty crazy. It's kind of complicated but uh, for condition. But we're done with the entire condition. When do we want to branch? When opposite of this. So it's going to be BRNP to end if. Oh, not end if, actually. So I think you got to be careful. So you do want to put blinders and do one line at a time. But since this is an if else statement, um, it's a little bit different than our just a normal if statement. So. Instead, we're going to branch to something called else. I'll have an else down there. We'll also have an end if. And we're going to keep a guard here that's going to branch to end if. It'll stop the body of our if from leaking into our else. So it takes us right to end if. Okay, anyway. Return one, pretty simple. So we're just going to get any random register. So one. One, and we're going to store that in our dedicated return area, which is R53. I hope you guys remember the last video. And always branch the teardown once you store anything there because we're returning. And we want to just terminate the function and start going back to the caller. So, okay. Now do our else. J. It's going to be, we have to load J. Um, LDR R0, R5, minus 1. I'm going to add it by 1. I'm going to store it right back in J. So Notice the symmetry, right? We load J in, we're going to increment it, and we'll store it right back. Alright, so that's done. This is, this uh, end curly bracket is our end, our end if. This one is our end while 2. And this I++ plus plus should be right below end while 2. right there okay so we're just gonna load I add it by one store right back okay done this is our end while one and this is our return zero so this should be after our end while one or end while it's unnamed but this one we just get any random register zero we'll store it into our dedicated return spot three I always branch the teardown. It's kind of redundant here, but it's always a good habit to do it. Stop trying to be clever all the time, you know? Alright, anyway, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.